Welcome all to Law Seekho's Thorough Newspaper Analysis for June 29, 2024. A very warm and pleasant good afternoon to everyone. Now, let us start with the today's editorial section where we'll be talking about why Bombay High Court held Chambur College hijab ban was in larger academic interest. This particular editorial we are discussing from the Indian Express. Then we'll be discussing about some news update and lastly, the legal news update of the day. Now, coming up to the Bombay High Court, dismissed a plea by nine students of Chambur's NG Acharya and DK Marathi College, challenging the Institute dress code banning hijabs and held that the decision was in the larger academic interest. It supported and fully agreed with the 2022 Karnataka High Court ruling that upheld the state government ban on hijabs in government colleges. Now, coming up to the dress code. So, in May this year, which is 24, Chambur College introduced a new dress code starting in June, following controversy last August, when several junior college girls wearing hijabs were denied entry for not following the uniform rules. The new dress code clearly states that burkhas, hijabs, or any religious identifiers, such as badges, caps, or stoles, will not be permitted inside the college. The desperate prescribed half and full shirts with trousers for boys and any Indian Western non link dress for girls. Now, against this, nine female students filed a case in the High Court calling the college instructions are arbitrary and discriminatory. They argued that the college lacked the authority to impose such restrictions, citing the hijab as a sensual religious practice, according to Quran. The students said the college rules block their education and breach the right to freedom of expression and religion under the constitution. They also argued that it goes against UGC regulation promoting equity in higher education for SC, STs and OBCs. Now, the college administration also defended its dress code, stating it applied uniformly to all students, regardless of religion or community. They emphasized the goal of maintaining religious neutrality. Their stance was supported by 2022 Karnataka High Court ruling, which deemed wearing the hijab not essential in Islamic practice for women. Now, coming up to the High Court judgment. The bench of judges ruled that the college dress code was in the broader academic interest and did not violate the constitutional provisions regarding freedom of expression and religion. The bench stated that the dress code aims to prevent students' attire from revealing their religion, encouraging them to focus on education and knowledge. The bench dismissed the claim that the wearing of hijab is an essential religious practice for the petitioners noting insufficient evidence beyond translated text of religious script. The bench ruled that it's very important line, instructions applied university, universally to all students, regardless of caste, creed, religion, language, thus aligning with UGC guidelines. It emphasized that while students have the right to choose their attire, institutions have also the right to maintain discipline prioritizing the college broader rights over individual preferences. Coming up to the national news of the day, GRCS, GRSE wins Sustainable Governance Champion Award. Leading Indian shipbuilding company, Garden Breach Shipbuilders and Engineers Limited won the Sustainable Governance Champion Award at the Outlook Planet Sustainability Summit Award 2024. Now, the award highlights GRC's roles in establishing sustainability and governance standards. Indian track athlete Kiran Pahal qualifies for Paris Olympics. So, Indian track athlete Kiran Pahal has qualified for the Paris Olympics in the women's 400-meter event. International news, David Warner retires from Indian cricket. David Warner retired from international cricket after Australia failed to qualify for the semi-finals of the ICC T20 World Cup 2024. He retires as Australia's highest scorer and seventh most prolific battler in the world in T20 format. Guys, today is a very international World Cup 2024 match between India and South Africa. 
Now, coming up to NASA SpaceX launch NOAA's latest weather satellite. So they have launched National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration satellite. This satellite will help forecasters predict space weather near Earth, which can affect satellite electronics, GPS, and radio communications. Parag becomes 100th full member of the International Solar Alliance. So Parag is the 100th country to become a full member of the International Solar Alliance. The International Solar Alliance main goal is to make it easier for many people to use solar energy and to support healthy growth around the world. In India, it is also supporting the solar power. Now, coming up, EU leaders nominate Von Der Leyen in block stop job. So EU leaders have nominated current European Commission head Ursula von der Leyen for a second five-year term in the block stop job at a summit in Bruce Lee's. At a summit in Bruce Lee's, EU leader chose Antonio Costa as the future chair of European Council meetings and appointed Kaja Kallis as the next EU foreign policy chief. Coming up to the legal update, which is with respect to IPC, examine dowry death matters from all possible angles. Justify how case falls under 302, 304B and 306 IPC. Allahabad High Court directs UP Police. So Allahabad High Court has directed the Director General of Police Uttar Pradesh to instruct investigating officers to conduct a wide spectrum of investigation in dowry death related cases and examine the death of married lady from every possible angle. The court emphasized that investigating officers must clearly state in their report under section 173 sub clause 2 of the CRPC, the evidence collected regarding with the woman's death fit under the section 302 IPC murder and dowry death and abatement to suicide. Jharkhand High Court grants bail to former CM Heman Soren in alleged money laundering case involving illegal land possession. So Jharkhand High Court has granted bail. The court found no evidence linking Soren to the land possession and criticized the ambiguous claims made by the ED about preventing illegal possession. That's all for the today's news update. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.